Hi, my name is Gary Carr and I'm an independent communication professional. I've been an IBC member for 29 years and this is my IBC story. Gary, thank you so much for being with us here today. Welcome. Super excited to ask you a whole bunch of questions, put you in the hot seat. Yeah, great. Um, Bring it on. Okay, so tell me, why did you choose communications? They were the only ones that would take me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get into the business faculty at SFU and I got rejected. So How I, did that feel? Not good. Okay. <laughs> but I took business communications instead and really enjoyed it and seemed to do pretty well at it with a minor in publishing as well. So as you reflect back upon your second choice career, um, what would you say one of the biggest learning moments for you has been? I'm just glad you didn't say second rate career. But uh, <laughs> learning moments definitely would be learning how to manage people and, and work with people, particularly in there's not a lot of hierarchy and that kind of thing. Um, it was one of the things I set out to do when I took on my first position in the IBC board, which is director of professional events, and woo -hoo! and I had a committee of eight or nine people, and had to learn how to deal with people who didn't perform or weren't able, you know, late for meetings all the time, and all the things you learn as a manager, and um, it really helped me get my first managerial job at ICBC many years ago. Back in the olden days. Back in the olden days, yes. Did they have the interweb back in the olden <laughs> ways? So, speaking of the young folks, um, what would your top three tips be for communications professionals just starting out in their career? Um, probably number one to me would be get involved. Get involved early when you're a student. Seek out smart people, if you know what I mean. Um, there's lots of people out there that are within the association that are willing to share what they've learned along the way. Take advantage of that membership because people, it, it opens doors. I find that you know, when you say, I'm an IBC member, can you help me? Most of the time people say yes, and the doors open and you have a great conversation. Okay, so spill the dirt here. Um, tell me something that would surprise people who know you. I'm shy. I was shy as a kid. I still am. I still am shy until I get to know people, so. Okay, I, I wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> now, although this has been the fun part, we're getting to the fun part here with some rapid fire questions. Are you uh, ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Which animal adds more joy to the world? Squirrels or llamas? Uh, excellent question. Um, I definitely say the alpaca, actually, which is a very um, easily confused with the llama, but the alpaca is highly, highly well known in South America. What would you do if you didn't have to work tomorrow? I would be on a plane. Where? Out of here. <laughs> Anywhere in particular? Um, around the world. Okay. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Hermione. Definitely Hermione. What is your least favorite type of music? My daughter would definitely tell you rap music, not actually music, so. So anybody looking to buy you a Christmas present <laughs> this year, no rap music. Okay, this is a fill in the blank, are you ready? Yep. Taylor Swift is? Wicked. How many pull-ups can you do in a row? Like in a day, or? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably two or three now. I used to be able to do a lot more. <laughs> two or three more than I can do, so <laughs> good on you. Um, what is the last thing you liked on social media? I believe there was a posting by our beloved president, Adam Brayford, but I tend to like just every single one of Adam Brayford's postings. He does post great content. Yeah, oh, amazing yeah. stuff, yeah. Even though it's a little self-serving, that's okay. <laughs> Gary, I just have a couple more questions for you before we can release you back into the world. Perfect. Um, what is the best part about being an IABC member? Um, relationships. So the, the, I've you know, met friends, met people who um, have been mentors over the years, and I've met people that I've been able to mentor and help over the years as well. Yet I find people really, really open and willing to, to share. So that's what I value the most is those relationships. That's great. Now, as you know, IBCBC is going to be celebrating its 40th anniversary. Um, and a little birdie told me that you have been a member for almost 30 years. So what, what are some standards? That's a really bad birdie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with that birdie later. Okay. <laughs> what are some highlights for you um, over the years as a, as a member of IBC? I've been lucky enough to go to, I don't know, 10 or 12 um, world conferences over the years. The conferences in Vancouver, um, we've had three of them now, have been, have been real highlights just to have people come to know people from all over the world, to have them come to your city, be able to show them around and, and just interact with them within, in your environment. It's always different, I find, when you're at home. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much for your time and for putting up with all of our questions. You're welcome. You've been a good sport. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you for Gary. inviting me.